It's round number two in the AFC Divisional Playoffs for the Los Angeles Raiders. Game time temperature two degrees above zero. The wind chill should take it down between 20 and 40 below for this afternoon's matchup. In frozen Buffalo, inspired Raiders like Howie Long met the challenge. Raider might and muscle by Don Mosbar and 41 Napoleon McCallum defy the cold. Protection by 76 Steve Wisniewski, 65 Max Montoya, Bruce Wilkerson, Gerald Perry and others enable Jeff Hostetler, first Raider to pass for over 3,000 yards since Ken Stabler in 79, to hit wide open Tim Brown for a long score on the icy artificial turf. But controversial calls and brutal cold helped end this Raiders season, short of a fifth Super Bowl appearance. Yet 1993 was a season that saw the Raiders return to glory. The 1993 season, the Raiders 34th and 12th in Los Angeles, opened in a newly renovated Coliseum before cheering loyal fans and Raiderettes alike. Pro Football Hall of Famer Art Shell, beginning his fourth full season as Raider head coach, had meticulously prepared new quarterback Jeff Hostetler to attack the Minnesota Vikings. Hostetler, carefully chosen by the organization to lead the offense, quickly demonstrated his skills, drilling Tim Brown for the season's first score. Fully utilizing the Raiders' crew of talented receivers, Hostetler completed 85% against the Vikings, including one to Ethan Horton down to the one. Then rookie Greg Robinson utilized blocks by Montoya, Todd Pete, Andrew Glover, and 35 Steve Smith to go in for the touchdown. While Hostetler, Robinson, and Perry made successful debuts on offense, number 57 linebacker Joe Kelly did the same on defense. Kelly invaded the Vikings' backfield, as did aggressive teammates Chester McLaughlin, 91, Aaron Wallace, 51, and number 33, Eddie Anderson. With Minnesota running halted, Raider rushers like 93, Greg Townsend, and 74, Nolan Harrison, shut down the pass and forced turnovers. Pressure by Willie Broughton, 97, helped Lionel Washington intercept one. Then Nolan Harrison pressured, and Terry McDaniel, 36, picked off another to close a Raider triumph, 24-7. Inside the Kingdome, Howie prepared for a long day. Then teamed with quick young defender Anthony Smith, 94, who had four sacks against the division rival Seahawks. Willie Broughton powered in for a sack. Offensively, Hostetler prospered behind Perry, Wisniewski, Mosbar, Montoya, and 79, Ken Lanier. Going deep to speedster Alexander Wright, 89, and Tim Brown. Hostetler looking over the right side, back to pass, going deep for Tim Brown in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders! The Raiders feared vertical passing game at a late interception by first-round draft choice Patrick Bates. Clinched a Raiders 17-13 win at a 2-0 record. Fabulous females in the sunlit Coliseum match the beauty of precision passing. The veteran sprinter Willie Galt, 83. And big young tight end Andrew Glover, 87, as the Raiders led the undefeated Browns early. Silver and black defense dominated Cleveland for much of the game. Howie Long rushed relentlessly. And young giant Chester McLaughlin, another top product of famed Raiders scouting, stopped both run and pass. A safety blitz by Patrick Bates helped create an interception by Terry McDaniel. Talented young safety Derek Hoskins, number 20, got his first pro interception. The 
Browns switch quarterbacks, but number 56 rusher Andre Bruce still found his target. And number 37 rookie Olympic gold medal sprinter James Trapp recorded his first NFL interception. But the Raiders finished three points short for their first loss of the season. Following a loss in Kansas City, the Raiders returned to the friendly confines of the Coliseum and the red-hot New York Jets. Number 51 linebacker Aaron Wallace came up with a sack and number 57 linebacker Joe Kelly came up with a football. Pressure by James Trapp and alert play by Eddie Anderson ended a fake field goal and began a classic Raider comeback. New York had raced to a 17-point lead, but now faced the unrivaled speed of the Los Angeles Raiders, pro football's unrivaled collection of supersonic athletes. And Evans is back to throw, looking deep down the middle, going for Jet, touchdown Raiders, James Jet! Evans is back to throw, no pressure, and he's going deep, and he's got Alexander Wright wide open to the 30, down to the 20, to the 10, touchdown Raiders! Veteran Vince Evans, in for an injured Jeff Hostetler, rallied his troops, going to James Jett and Alexander Wright to bring the heroic Raiders back. And his pass to Tim Brown with seconds remaining, set up the win. Evans getting it under the center. He'll have to spike it. No, he won't. He'll give it to Nick Bell. Is he in? He's in. Touchdown, Raiders! Following their dramatic win over New York, the Raiders, kings of Monday Night Football, were in Denver. Max Montoya in his 200th league game. Perry, Mosbar, Wilkerson, and the rest opened big holes for Greg Robinson and earned time for Hostetler to find Alexander Wright wide open. Hostetler back to pass, goes into the end zone right there. The Raider offense had mapped a road to the end zone. On defense, battle-hardened wearers of silver and black barred the way. Number 52 linebacker Mike Jones detoured one side while Howie Long closed the other. Number 94, Anthony Smith, took the inside route to one of seven Raiders sacks. Design and execution created interception opportunities for Terry McDaniel and Derek Hoskins. Trailing in the final quarter, the visiting Raiders thundered back with a vengeance. Throwing on first down, the pocket hole jump, swings it over the middle, has James Jett, complete to the 50, there he goes, to the 40, down to the 30, nobody will catch James Jett, put a gold medal around his neck, touchdown Los Angeles. Jagger from 53 yards, with 21 seconds left, it's back, it's down, it's up, does it have the distance? Yes! Yes, a low-line drive, and the Raiders take... Jeff Jager's field goal ensured the Raiders their league-best 30th win on Monday Night Football. Halloween meant colorful characters in the Coliseum, but most frightening were first-year Raiders speedsters James Jett and Rocket Ishmael, who cruised the sideline pregame but shifted to full flight at game time. Against the Chargers, blocked by 39 Kevin Smith, 54 Greg Beekert, Torin Dorn, Dan Land, and Randy Jordan gave the Rocket room to roam. Hostetler went long to jet. Short to Robinson. And off into Brown in passing for a Raider record 424 yards as fellow quarterbacks Billy Joe Hobart and Vince Evans approved. But the Chargers hung on to tighten the AFC West. 
Chicago's historic Soldier Field was the site for a Bears Raiders defensive struggle. Eddie Anderson intercepted and followed Winston Moss 99 and Lionel Washington goalward. Defense and special teams proved crucial. Jeff Gossett boom punts and Beaker, Jones, Bates, Dan Turk, and number 25 Dan Land covered fearlessly. Number 91 Chester McLaughlin and 99 Winston Moss made solo plays, then teamed for a key turnover as the Raiders won on the road 16 to 14. Captains Dan Turk 67, Winston Moss, and Don Mosbar were primed and ready in San Diego. Blocking by 35, Steve Smith helped Greg Robinson rush for almost 100 yards. While Hostetler connected with James Jett seven times for 138 yards. A determined Raider defense limited the Chargers to seven points with pressure by Greg Townsend, Anthony Smith, Howie Long, Chester McLaughlin, and a final interception by Lionel Washington. Center Dan Turk, holder Jeff Gossett, kicker Jeff Jager, and blockers Todd Pete, Rich Stevens, Horton, and McCallum team for four field goals. The 12-7 victory was an NFL record 300th win since 1960. After a loss in Cincinnati, the Raiders faced a must-win situation in Buffalo to close a three-week road trip. Raqib Rocket Ishmael triggered explosive action with long runbacks. Aided by Willie Galt, Greg Beaker, Joe Kelly, Aaron Wallace, and this league-leading kickoff return team. After the Rockets launch, Greg Robinson used the drive of Gerald Perry and Steve Wisniewski for big games. <music> 71 Gerald Perry, Pro Bowl guard Steve Wisniewski, and 65 Max Montoya, along with Mosbar and Wilkerson, battled up front allowing versatile Jeff Hostetler to scramble free for six. interception by alert Terry McDaniel helped keep the Raiders close for another classic comeback as quarterback Jeff Hostetler combined with Tim Brown 10 times for 183 yards. Hostetler with a short drop back to throw goes deep down the right side of the end zone. Brown's there. Touchdown Raiders. Tim Brown. And the Raiders have the lead once again. A Nolan Harrison tackle and an Eddie Anderson recovery guaranteed no more lead changes this day. Next, Art Shell and the Raiders returned home to host former Raider Tom Flores at his improved Seahawks. Greg Townsend, career sack leader among active AFC players, pursued passers, and Pro Bowl bound Terry McDaniel pursued passes. Rookie Randy Jordan, number 23, subbing for injured Greg Robinson, slashed for yardage inside, while Hostetler scampered outside and passed topside for Raider touchdowns. Hostetler back to throw, looking over to the left side. Pressure comes, he's got to hurry. Running over to the right side of the five. Can he get to the goal line? Yes, he dives in. Touchdown, Raiders. Hostetler 
play fakes. He's back to throw. He looks deep down the left side. He's got James Jett. It's complete to the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Raiders! The Raiders, pro sports winningest team, had come to conquer this day. It's a long one. It'll be taken by Brown. Back at the Raider 26, over to the right side. 30, 35, up the middle of the 40. He's gone to the 45, 50. Breaks the tackle to the 40, down the sideline to the 30, to the 20, 10, 5. To Tim Brown's electrifying 74-yard punt return. Keep the Raiders 27-23 victory. Coach Archell demanded continued effort against Tampa Bay, and the Raiders in Rocket Ishmael took every step necessary to climb toward the playoffs. Howie Long refused to be stopped, en route to the passer, and an eighth Pro Bowl, while Townsend and McLaughlin team for a takeaway. Nap in the eyes, the tailback. It'll be McCallum over to the right side. Breaking tackles, he's in! Touchdown, Raiders! Napoleon McCallum and Jeff Hostetler rush for touchdowns. And NFL fastest man Alexander Wright caught one to pace the Raider win. Boy, the ball is dead. He sets up in the pocket, looks over the middle. He's got a man in the end zone, wide open. Touchdown, Alexander Wright! Beat the Broncos and earn the playoffs for the 18th time and the third under head coach Archell. He's dropping back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Looks over to the right side, rolls over to the right side, fires over the middle. Touchdown, Tim Brown. Long count by Hostetler. He's back to throw. Sets up, looks deep down the middle. He's got Brown in the end zone. Pro Touchdown. Bowl choice Tim Brown caught 11 passes for 173 yards and two scores. This would turn into an offensive shootout for the enthusiastic sellout crowd. But later defense would also be heard from. Raider regulars welcome the challenge, as did veteran reserves like number 56, Andre Bruce, who blocked a punt. And first year running back number 21, Tyrone Montgomery. It was a total team effort, and in the proud Raider tradition of greatness, heroes arose in the final seconds. Come on out! Come on out! Hostetler knows he's only got eight seconds left. He's got to hurry. He looks over to the left side, looks over to the right side, fires to the right side. He's got a man. Touchdown, Raiders! It's Alexander Wright. They tied it up on the final play in regulation. The Raiders tie it. Alexander Wright. No time left on the clock. Alexander Wright's clutch catch forced overtime, giving Jeff Jager a chance to win it. It's out of the hold of Jeff Gossett. The snap is back, it's down, it's up, it's on its way, it's long enough. It's good! The Raiders go to the playoffs! The Raiders go to the playoffs! Jager's NFL record tying 35th field goal earned the Raiders a playoff game against the Broncos. Now listen up. That's a good football team over there we beat today. A very good football team. And we got them again next week. Right here, okay? Yes. Yeah. A sellout crowd of 68,000 faithful filled the Coliseum to see if their Raiders could beat the Broncos three times in one season. It's getting up to pretty good now. One thing you got to understand is the only way to play this game is you got to get down in the dirt and get nasty. Let's go. With dirt flying from their feet and footballs from Hostetler's arm, the Raiders got nasty early, striking for the end zone. Down the right side for James Jetty, beat his man. Complete inside the five, oh, touchdown my. Raiders! What a catch! Second and goal from the eight, Hostetler looking, setting, fires over the middle, Horton's there, touchdown Raiders! The strong arm Hostetler found James Jett, Ethan Horton, and Tim Brown for first half touchdowns.
The offensive explosion netted a 21-21 tie at halftime. The Raider defense was without inside strength Chester McLaughlin, whose season ended in injury early in this playoff game. But these valiant Raiders would not waver. Torin Dorn intercepted. In this final home game, 13-year veteran Howie Long pursued. Hoskins hit. And Ricky Dixon, 31, covered punts. Tackle Gerald Perry dominated, allowing Hostetler to continue the Raider plan of stretching the defense, of going deep. James Jett and Alexander Wright displayed Raider artistry at its finest. But the second half was Raider power football, featuring Napoleon McCallum, who blasted through for three touchdowns. Napoleon McCallum in the eye. McCallum up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Raider will to win was never more apparent. The year-long commitment by everyone, including Nick Bell, John Duff, Greg Skrepanek, Rich Stevens, Daryl Hobbs, Farrakh Collins, David Fulcher, Billy Joe Hobart, and Charles Jordan, overflowed for Coach Shell, his able staff, and the entire organization in this glorious playoff victory. I want to give out two game balls myself. I'm going to give the game ball out. I want to give one to Dr. Bob's family. And I also want to give a, a game ball to the big guy back here. Once again. We got one more, one more game ball. He's been doing it all year long for us. And I mean, coaches talked about him every single week, and he is that piece we've been missing. That's Jeff Hostel. All right. Since 1963, when Al Davis first pledged to build the finest organization in pro sports, the Raiders have totally dominated in terms of consistent victory. The fire that burns brightest in this unique organization is an unyielding will to win. Never more evident than in 1993 when these Raiders defied critics and challengers alike to again return to glory.